Hello. Okay. Oh my goodness. I feel like I shredded my like it's shredded but i don't know what i did but ignore that i don't know what to say if i could maybe it's like glue i don't really know but hello i hope y'all doing good so um i thought of doing a video like part two okay let me just fix this because what the fudge no but yeah i whatever let's just get into the video you've seen the title so it's part two of Okay, so first thing first, um, when you start dating, whatever, like when I started dating this guy and he was like a narcissist, okay? He was a fucking narcissist. I'm gonna swear, cause like, whatever. Um, at first, it's very much like love bombing, like honeymoon stage. Like the honeymoon stage just seemed to like never end. Like right when you meet, it's like, no compliments, like over, showering over showering with compliments like gift and like just everything seemed perfect like everything just seems like too perfect to be true and wait okay um too perfect to be true true but non popular opinion i do like to be love bombed like if i know i'm being love bombed and like you know it's not that bad because when it is just like a love bombing thing but the guy is sweet like i know we're not gonna be together for a long time so i just like i enjoy it but when it's a problem it's like when you actually start getting feelings or like you get yourself invested emotionally that's when it all like it's not funny anyways so yeah that's like the mild thing like you know being love bomb and just like the typical phrases it's like oh i've never felt like this before or like you're my soulmate like if you just met somebody and you're like you're my soulmate like be fucking for real you know like sometimes i do feel like that so i'm like i wonder if i love bomb people like because for some reason um I have this thing where I get involved really quickly in relationships out. So right away, I am going to feel some type of way, like whatever, whatever. Because in general, I don't really express my emotions and my feelings. So when I find that like vibe where it's easy and it's like easy and flowy and just I can kind of like say whatever and like no shame. I start to like fall in love like obviously it's not love you know whatever so I might say some shit and it sounds like love bombing so I'm like wait a minute like am I the problem but anyways back to what I was saying so love bombing compliments da -da -da, gift like gifts with an s like outings um genre, you know okay you know the vibe so whatever and then after that what kind of start being unfunny like not funny is when all that disappears so when the person knows they have you like when they know like okay this bitch i'm going nowhere that's when it's like okay the real the real shit is like happening whatever so i'm just gonna put something gloss. um i just woke up from a nap so i'm kind of annoyed because i'm like still tired but I'm smiling on the inside. Like I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not whatever. I'm just kind of like, Ugh. okay, yeah. So when the honeymoon stage like is over, when like the person, whoever you date, guy, girl, whatever, that's when things are like, okay, like you kind of feel, ah. wait, for some reason, this arm always cracks like every time i move this arm i just feel like i've been lifting something but anyways yeah so i'm scratching my head to find examples because this is very much uh, like no brainstorming really i just wrote down i have um like a sketchbook that i write everything down that i want to do like whatever so for this i wrote down um or talk about whatever like dating a narcissist and i have like ideas da -da 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 -da. so cute um from the dollar store 
Like it looks so bougie and I literally bought it for like $4. I love cheap stuff. Okay, so um, Krista, I keep like when the honeymoon stage is over, that's when they start being a little, um, can I say so? Just like, okay, like, usually that's when I break up with the guy, so I wouldn't really be like an expert on what can happen, but I have experience with like narcissists, like parents and like siblings and friends, and you know, like once you get involved with a narcissist oh it's so it's scratchy okay once you get involved in narcissist or like you're you're born i was looking for a specific word but i cannot find it but when you're born into like narcissistic family it's the first type of people that you're going to attract obviously so that's why a lot of people that i've dated in the past were narcissistic adjacent or they have the traits and you know anyways the obvious i'm not gonna say it but like having a narcissistic family unfortunately i had to unlearn so many things in therapy so this is oh my goodness it's okay it's not like that then no i don't know what it is but anyways i need a wig like i need a new wig um so most of the things that i'm talking about is like from like being around people that were narcissists but i've never stayed long with the narcissist like usually when the honeymoon stage is over that's when i'm gone because i know like whatever but um that's when they start devaluing so that means they're gonna do little things on purpose to break your self-esteem so little things like it's not gonna be right away like you're so stupid like you know they're not gonna go right away and do that because obviously as you know like any human being you're gonna be like what the heck and like you know so when it's like little by little it's harder to identify so like it takes longer to be like okay wait this bitch is crazy like this person hates me like whatever um so the valuing it could be anything from name calling um from just like saying rude comments or jokes that are not funny but like like intentionally trying to hurt you but like in like in little things or asking for a favor as a way to like make you their bitch <laughs> i'm trying to find like more professional words but anyways fuck it so yeah basically slowly and it's little, little things and you're gonna feel like in the moment like unless you're actually like um rude not rude but unless you're actually very very Capricious? Is that a word? <laughs> Capricious. Oh my lord. Okay, unless you're very like whatever. Okay. Obviously, you know, you don't want to do anything like unless you're like actually like egoist uh egoist and like whatever, that's gonna annoy. But if you're like a you know normal amount of common sense and you feel like someone is asking you to do something and you feel some type of way but you do it anyway because you're like okay like i don't think they mean it as like in a bad way but they just need help i don't know whatever and then it's gonna fuck up you with your mind because you're gonna second guess everything like that's kind of the point where you're supposed to start second guessing every little interaction because the point of devaluing is to make you feel like shit but also so that you don't um trust your own instinct because it's gonna start so freaking little that you're gonna feel like you're crazy because it'll be like wait like that person didn't even mean it like that like maybe i'm the one with the problem and blah, blah, blah. okay wait i have uh, i did not cry i mean i don't think so but i have like remnant of my nap on my face so just whatever let's just ignore that um 
so yeah it started little by little like little comments little things but and then it grows into really mean stuff like i'm you know i'm sure coding it obviously and on my in my experience but it's not in dating it's mostly through people around me let's just say that um it would be like really nasty jokes like not nasty as like freaky like nasty as like rude where you're kind of like why would they say that like it kind of makes you feel bad about yourself and you're you're gonna start overcompensating like naturally because you want the validation of that person because it's usually someone that you look up to or like you're dating or you love or you're related to um anyway let's just not go there but um so yeah you're gonna be like what the fuck like you're gonna be confused because your brain is gonna take a while to understand that like the comment was said like on purpose like it's not it's not like innocent it was like very much calculated like our narcissist knows what they're doing because it's always the same thing but they can like mix it up like once in a while but most of the things that they do is very calculated um it's just they're gonna like maybe change the script and like the script meaning like the words that they use or whatever whatever their tactics but everything is calculated so um if you're someone that's like super nice and kind and like innocent and just like good hearted it's gonna be hard to understand that someone is intentionally being um discerning discerning and <laughs> not this harmful like i'm anyways like uh, the person is intentionally being rude or like mean or whatever whatever okay and yeah so for example like little jokes like oh uh, you know those like jokes where it, like gives you like a little like aftertaste where you're like not sure you're like kind of like wait like it's not that funny but like it's kind of funny but like not really but you know whatever so the point is like to start second guessing your own instinct because in general as like women we do have like the feminine instinct so it kind of helps um like anyways it helps kind of know when a person is good or like ill-intentioned so when you start distrusting your own trust like you know that was that was that was a little anyways that's easier for a narcissist to kind of like run you over not physically obviously but it's more like a game like it's all like a kind of like a game for them like it's just something you do and if you kind of go more into it the reason why behind everything that they do there is self-hatred you know because there is this stigma that narcissists are people that are obsessed with themselves and they love themselves so much and like it's true that like when you have narcissistic trait you are very you 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 like everything is about you like you don't really care about other people's feelings or emotions like the world kind of like revolves around you but that's just narcissism in the sense of um like traits wait anyways but yeah so um but yeah so anyways so that's like kind of more common especially with the like social media and stuff like that so that's more normal but in terms of like the disorder it's more because the person usually it's like you don't really start like randomly you know, just like i don't think that you were born i think it's more of like you become one um, because of like trauma and stuff like that so most of the time is because there is some kind of self-hatred uh, hatred, and you genuinely think that 
you know how people think because they think a certain way that everybody thinks that way like because you have bad intentions and everybody has bad intentions and whatever that's kind of the point where it's hard for them to understand that it's actually um <laughs> it's more so one-sided where they have the audacity let's just say the audacity to think that um because they feel a certain way they don't want you to kind of feel like better in a sense you know so if you have someone that's always you know like putting you down like the okay the more visual or like example that i can have is the like the boyfriend you know like in the tv shows it's always like the nice innocent girl dating the whatever like the football player that's like the what is it like not the team leader but the captain of the team and then he treats her bad and she's like still obsessed with him and then she meets a guy that's like actually a good guy and, da -da -da, and it takes time for her to believe the like whatever you get you know what i'm saying so most of the time um they will prey on people for specific reasons so there is this myth that it's only if i'm stopping because i'm thinking i don't want to be um but i'm thinking that there's this myth or stigma or whatever that misconception that usually the people that are falling for narcissists are like you know like low self-esteem no confidence no friends da, da, da. you'll be surprised to know that a lot of the times it could be like a career woman like that has you know her own things like you know popular da, 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 da. but one thing that is true is they will target specifically like like target you for a reason so sometimes it's true that they can kind of see someone's insecurity right and also when they know like okay this person doesn't have like a social network so it's easier for them to like isolate you because you know when a narcissist tries to isolate you from your friends or family like they convince you that oh like they don't have your best intention like da, 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 i'm the only one that loves you and like no one will ever love you like i do like you know bullshit like that um it's true that that is kind of you know a script that could happen but most of the time it's just because they kind of like the energy um that they don't have like example if they're more pessimistic and like reserved and they see life kind of like black and white they will go for someone that's more like that has like like that innocent like happy energy like you know what i mean because they they want it they cannot they cannot be like that so they kind of want to have that and they're like how does this person like genuinely seem like a good person or happy or like why do people gravitate toward this person you know sometimes like someone that they see that kind of has that magnetism like naturally and they kind of want that you know when someone's like oh i love your energy i love your energy and then turns out that person like fucks you over and you're like what the fuck like um <laughs> anyways it's for a reason you know sometimes it's like a good compliment like i'm not saying everybody that says that like are you know evil but <laughs> yeah 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 um but yeah okay i was kind of going in circles but ooh, wait a minute this is so freaking cute okay wait a minute wait a minute no I don't know if my phone is, my phone, my phone, my phone is it charging. I'm like not really seeing that. But if it's not, I'm going to have to shut it down. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, 
Um, but yeah, that's like a little aperçu. Um, unfortunately, wait, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, like the the fact that I was kind of just being oh okay kind of just being like very in the moment with this video i did not take time to like take notes so i'm just you know kind of throwing information out there oh it is hot it is freaking hot okay but yeah um the other thing i wanted to say is the look um now it's easy for me to spot because they always have the look like i don't even know how to explain I've had like friendships where I would hang out with someone, we're besties within a day, and then like, you know, I'm gonna be talking or doing something, and I turn and I just see them like staring at me, but like in like a creepy ass look. Like I kind of hate you, but I kind of want um you, but I kind of want to be you, you know. So that's always confusing because you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this person is obsessed with me. Um, honey, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, it is so freaking hot. Okay, freaky bitch coming in the dick. You tell me I'll show that back in my face. God, this. I want to get drunk. I want to get drunk so freaking bad. Like, I don't understand. I'm sweaty, but it's fine. But yeah. Um, the other thing, like, quickly before I end this video, because it's already, like, 20 minutes, and let's be for real, like you know that's a lot of time um is i remember specifically this one time i mean not one time because um oh sorry cat i was in the car with the nor and he was like driving me home and one thing that i do is i can be awkward as fuck like anxiety as fuck but if there's music like i'm gonna be singing i'm gonna be dancing like it's just a thing so i was playing like my playlist in the car and singing and he was just like staring at me like the whole like i don't know why and it was so weird i feel like i just felt like not disgusted but i just felt i was like i think that's when i knew i was like yeah this nigga is fucking crazy like and not crazy as like crazy but just low-key narcissistic like man hate women like they do hate women like they seem like womanizer stuff like that but deep down they do hate women and that's my take because a lot of them are on the dl okay and that's another thing that's a little a little but anyways a lot of them are on the dl dl means down um uh, down low means like closeted means Okay, so a lot of them are down low, like DL, and that's something like, people don't really talk about much, but yeah. And it's not even like them being down at uh, the other, just like, they don't have limits. Like things, like the more that you kind of like spend time with one, which you're going to realize that they are deep in. And there's like different type of narcissism and narcissists, so whatever, but a lot of them are like deviant. And if you don't know what that means, Google it. Cause and um if you're about it, you can also Google the dark triad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go because I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like two more videos and then sleep too yeah anyway mm, this is so cute it's giving like secretary mm.